Run across the parking lot was a delight for all the guys because they were like, oh my God, look at him. But I was running as quickly as I could. When I came through that door there, they were coming out with the bassinet and they all, six of them had a hand on the bassinet. They're going like that. And I thought, why I didn't get a picture? I thought, oh my God, they look like angels carrying the baby. Nothing was going to happen to that child, I guarantee you. Followed them all the way out to the bay. They got in the ambulance. The medics immediately started taking the baby. Uh, but they check them here. We got a set up here where they check them to make sure they're stable enough even to get to the ambulance. And then they started taking the baby there. And I told them I'd meet them there because I grabbed a binder. I have everything ready to go uh, that has the uh, surrender form and everything because we try to keep uh, track of the baby who's from who to who to who for legal liability as well. But just so the parents can always have those notes as well. So I followed them to the hospital uh, and then I met them. Uh, but the mistake I made, well, no, that was on the second one. I got to tell you that one. I'll tell you that one. But uh, anyway, I park and we go inside and uh, we start, start to take care of the baby. And the baby, a uh, doctor said, baby's doing well. They took care of it. We got uh, DCS coming at that time. We, did, we contacted DCS through Carmel Police. Uh, we got all the paperwork done and then I was had the privilege of going up being with the baby the rest of the day uh, and Monica and the fire chief were there as well it was oh my god it was wonderful and so I called my wife because I'm like she's she wanted to be in on this too so and they allowed her to which is wonderful so my wife and I got to stay during the week and love the baby be with the baby because the baby had nobody right and so every evening we of course my wife and daughter as soon as they found out they're like oh my god we're going to Coles and they went and got more and more clothes for the baby. So, so and they love it, and it's great. I love them to do that. So, uh, so they came. We came back every evening. We we're with the baby, and then uh, at the end of the week, when the DCS has found a baby, found a foster family at that time, they'd let us know, and they'd come in usually on Saturday and pick up the baby, and we'd make sure they have a car seat. We here at Carmel, my wife and I get them in the department. We get them a car seat. We get them their first choice little fire dog, of course, and then uh, and then we have clothing. It's all in the drawers. I can show it to you. So we give them all that. We want to make sure the family has something to start with. And obviously a car seat's really important. So, and that one kind of goes to all the levels, all the way up to, I think, eight years old. So uh, we want to make sure they're protected. And then uh, we try to stay in contact through DCS with the foster family and or uh, the uh, adoptive family because it's important to us. If they allow it, if not, that's fine. We understand all we ever ask at the most question would be, is the baby okay? If the baby's okay, we're good. That's all I need to know because I know God's watching over it. Uh, but uh, interestingly, all three of our babies, all three have been back in contact with us. The first two have come back here, one with the foster family, one with the adoptive family. The, the second one, the adoptive family lives here in Carmel. I see her everywhere. She's at, I'm out doing a fire prevention booth, fire safety booth, and she'll roll up with her mom and dad and it's wonderful. I, I'll show you the latest picture of her. But uh, so that was the first baby. The second baby, I was at Dunkin' Donuts with my daughter. This is a good one too. So I'm getting my coffee. I, it never fails. It's right, but I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. So I'm right at the window. The, the gal's ringing me up, and my daughter's talking to me, and the phones go off, and I'm like, Libby, it's a, it's the baby box alarm. So I give it to my daughter because I, and, you know, so, and so and I this, get is the this, this is a Saturday. This is a Saturday. So I'm getting the coffee and I said, read it, read it to me. She's starting to read it and it says, it says baby box alarm door open, object sensor activated. And I'm like, we're and going. Now, now remember, this, is, this was nine days nine after, days after from the, the first, first baby from the so first baby right so made my heart's pound and stuff so i told libby i said call the station she knows how to do it real good better than i am so she calls the station and then she gets captain brand on the line and captain captain gary brand he says chief we have another baby in the baby <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so i'm like i'm the libby's like dad relax but I, you know i love it i'm excited so i take off in the car and libby did, and I, did you actually get your coffee that time i did i actually got it but i just <laughs> set it down at that point it, this was more important than that. And I'm, that is more important than that. So I'm driving. I told him I meet him in the hospital. He said, John, they're getting ready. They're loading the baby now into the ambulance right here at 45. I said, I'll meet you at the hospital. And so sure enough, I pulled. Now, this is the funny one. This is where I pull in the hospital. I jump out of the car. Phones left in the car, everything. Leave the door open. I go running in behind the, the guys and gals that, that took the baby in. Uh, I, I did, they did have the, I had the binder with me. I kept it in the car. I got it back up in the car. So I took it in. We started the paperwork. Everything went on. Forgetting that I left my car parked right in the center lane of where all the ambulances come in, right? So later on, it's all good though. They were able to go around it and that. But uh, the fire chief, I love him. He's my best buddy. 
best friend to he he told me later on john uh, we need to remember to park your car in the parking lot and not leave <laughs> which in that i said yes sir i'll make sure i do that uh, it, it was very nice but uh I, I was so excited i did leave it running <laughs> running and everything but anyway uh the, so this was a little girl uh and so we were able to stay, my wife and I were able to stay with her, and of course, Libby and Lori went and bought clothes. And what else was neat? I gotta go back to the first one. So on the first one, um, when it, that evening, after the first one, when I came back here to, to make sure this was all reset, they had already done it. The, the firefighters had already, I mean, it was immaculate. And I'm like, two and then, in nine days, and they're, they're like, oh, yeah, there yeah. gonna be another one Well, tomorrow. yeah, but they, I come back that evening after the first one, and they have it all cleaned up, and I, and which is nice. You know, they knew how to prepare it, and I said, who did it? Well, I don't know but is, is it done? I go, yeah, it looks great. Thank you guys. And they go, hey, Chief, by the way, we made the baby a birthday cake. Adorable. I got a picture of it, right? It's in the big silver pan. And uh, it would look good, too. And they said it even had sprinkles on it. And it did. But half of it was gone. <laughs> so I asked them, I go, who ate the baby's cake? And they go, he'd want us to eat it. It was cute. <laughs> it's just the way they did it. You think about that. So my, that, gave my, that triggered one in my daughter's idea. Any more babies, she's getting a birthday cake. And so Libby did that. And so what we did from that point on was uh, we took pictures of the crew right here by the baby box and we're holding the cake and everything uh, and for the baby. So at a later point, if DCS and the adoptive foster or whomever may have the baby at the time would want those photos, we could give them to them. Uh, and they did, they love them, by the way. So, and we'd share them with Monica as well. Uh, and any photos that we took along, nothing, we didn't put anything out. Uh, it was all protected and everything, but we hung on to those. And our point was, and this lady's point was, that's why she's an angel, uh, was to put this stuff together uh, so it could be shared with the family at a later date if they wanted that from day one when the baby came in the box. Uh, how cool is that? And, and my wife having four children and coming from a family of 15 and me from 10, we know that's really important to have that stuff uh, for the mother especially. Uh, and so that's what we did. We gave pictures, which I transferred them to Monica and Monica had them put into a few, her organization and her had them put into a little books with the you know, little boy, little girl. Oh my God, it's, my daughter-in-law did it for our grandkids. So, so what she had done was just like we did and it, it's just beautiful. And we shared those with the families. They've been shared with the families and they love it. And naturally the mother of the children would like, oh my God, I have the baby on the day it was placed. Like, here's what you look like. So, and, and think about that later on when the baby's older, if the baby goes, you have a picture of me the day I was born. Mom can, you know, instead of going, no, we got, we got you like, 30 day or whatever it was. They go, no, here you are, this is it. You're at the fire station with the firefighters. And then uh, and then the idea of them coming back to here and visiting with us, oh my God, tears, everybody's crying. We're holding them. We got pictures of all of it. It was beautiful. And then now we see them out in, in that. So, and then the third baby went, uh, was, so the third baby, I was at leaving the driveway. My wife was mowing the lawn. I remember this and I turned out, you remember how you remember things like this, really important day. So I start turning out the driveway and the phones go off. I pull over immediately right across the street and it's the baby box. I rolled down my window and said, honey, it's another baby. I think so I took off. And how, and how long after is this? Five one? and a half weeks from the first one. Five. From the first one. Yeah. So now I live, well, let's just say, I can't say my address because that wouldn't be, but I live very close to the hospital where they transport the baby, which makes it even better. I love it. So uh, I so I called the station, I'm driving, and uh, they said, we're en route again. I'm like, okay, I'll meet you there. So it's perfect. They pulled in, I pulled in right behind them. I'm like, God, see, that's where I believe Lord's in this. I 100% the Lord's in this. Uh, because I really felt my heart and soul he wanted me there too. So because the, the timing, what's the odds? I call them, they said, yeah, we're en route. They pull in, I pull in right behind them. I loved it. So I come in with the book and we, we the whole routine again. And of course the nurse was like, man, you guys got this down to a science. And we're rolling along. And it did go very smooth, I must say, thanks to her organization and, and us. We really worked hard on an operational manual. That's why we're here today to do the training uh, with the firefighters because Monaco, her organization will always keep us updated any new changes. And if we can be a part of it, we definitely want to do that. I know we went so, to the legislature here in Indiana for, um, having a bill pass to help a bill get passed i should say uh to make things uh, easier and better overall for the family and uh, that's what we're here today to train them so we're looking forward to that too but the whole organization the whole plan again this goes back to the babies and the moms that's what's more important than me or anybody respectfully anybody else 
other than this lady and the babies and the moms because uh, that's what's most important. And we try to reflect that too. After we have the babies, we always have a press conference. And this is what I think is wonderful because people say, why, you know, why do you got to blow it all up and all that? I asked my wife of four children, a, a, a member of a fifth family of 15, right, when she grew up. I said, what would a mother want to know most of all? She wants to know how that baby is. Nothing else. How is, I mean, at that point, how's my baby? And so this lady, Monica Kelsey, and Fire Chief Dave Hall was one of the first things they address is mom, eye to eye TV, right? Mom, your baby is doing just fine because you know that's going to relieve her and she knows she did the right thing, right? She knows she saved that baby. She's an angel too. She saved that baby's life. And, and, and God bless her by all means. And, we, and then they'll even continue to say, so mom knows this help is here for you. We, here it is, you can call this number, you can remain anonymous, you know, whatever you need, financial, anything we can do for you, we're gonna do it. And we're the same way. You know, the Fire Department Express, if you wanna reach out to us, you're welcome to, you can bring the baby here. If we can help with anything, please feel free to do so, because we're gonna do it. So it's all a wonderful thing to continue to do, the program, and I'll never quit. I mean, no matter what, as long as I live, I'm gonna help with Safe Haven Baby Box. You know? And it's not, I'm, I don't, I, I do mean this as a plug in a good way for the organization because they're saving babies' lives and there's nothing more important than that. Absolutely nothing.